we're taking a look here at um, just the very barest use of um, this moleculeview.org, so moleview.org. Um, when you go to that website, you're going to get this little permission um, window. And um, I like this website especially um, because it can let you look at a larger library of molecules and play with them. Um, so it always pops up with caffeine um, showing here. I find it a little bit harder to draw with, um, but really great for the library of molecules. So say you want to see caffeine, it'll give you the whole structure here, and then you can rotate it and play with it. Um, you'll notice the red balls represent oxygen, blue always represents nitrogen, um, the darker gray is carbon, and then the whites are hydrogen. Um, so let's just say you want to look at 2-methylpentane, um, and you can see it gives you all kinds of different um, names and compounds that you could look at. This is a simpler molecule, so it gives you the expanded structure, and then if I hold down left button on my mouse, I can rotate this and kind of look at what that structure would look like if I built it. Um, say you want to look for something a little bit bigger, ATP. Now you get this huge, awesome, expanded structure, and you also get a picture of what it would look like. So over here, um, this is the adenine. It's a base. It has a bunch of nitrogens in it. Um, you can see some oxygens here. This is a sugar ring, so here's those oxygens. And then we have a new color. Here's the three phosphates with the orange for the phosphorus. So um, it's got an enormous library um, to be able to look at the molecules, and that's what I would suggest using this for.